wide enough to get on either side of that. The other thing is that they might just pass straight through. And That's that would point. be bad for Billet. <laughs> All right, Billet, you ready? Escape velocity, are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, fight! Dancing around each other a little bit. Billet pushes Escape Velocity in the corner. There's Billet. some of that plastic coming off. Yeah. Billet did have the advantage, was lower down, but a lot of that plastic is now gone. Billet gets hit twice. Hit up, then hit once again while in midair. Looks like that front wedge isn't quite what it used to be anymore, but it's still holding its own. At this point, it might hamper movement just a little bit. One of the uh, dangers of using a plastic wedge is that it might uh, get bent or, or um, become an obstacle for your own movement. That's right, it can get stuck in all those cracks on the arena. And you know, if they fold back the wrong way and the robot ends up on top of your own little plastic wedge, then it lifts your front wheels off the ground and you lose all of your traction. Billet fired into the arena wall. Arena weapons are now working. There's a really big dent on the right side of Billet. The clock narrowly survived there. Billet got flipped upside down by the arena flipper. He's going to make defense a little bit more difficult. Okay, Billet using the arena flipper to flip itself back upright. White sparks everywhere, looks like fireworks as that titanium wedge is chewed up. When is Guy Fawkes? Uh, in like three days. Uh, Alright, so the pit's going to drop in five seconds, six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and escape velocity, just escape. Alright, we're going to go have someone fix the pit. Don't hit the people. Oh no. Okay, we'll just we'll just say the pit didn't work. Five seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, fight. I mean time. <laughs> 